Hi everyone. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Um, this is the second time through for this video. Um, using my phone because my iPad is full and I don't have time to uh, get a, um, to clear it off. So uh, um, we, what, what I did was I made these little tags. Okay. Um, this one says Twinkle. Uh, we've got Jingle and we've got Joy. So, um, here's, I wanted to show you that I cut the tags from this die. It's the, uh, it's called T Tiny Tabs and Tags. It's very versatile. And uh, so I'm focusing on using this size and um, then the this size as well. It's got a lot of other things with in it. And... Okay, let's get a little bit better view here. There we go. Uh, it's got, I had to switch my camera view. But anyway, it's got a lot of other different size tags and things in it. You know, all very useful. But I'm just going to focus on these right now. So then the other die that I'm using, this one is a, a lot older one. And then this one is brand new, and it's um, Holiday Word Blocks, and it comes uh, in a little envelope, and it's got lots and lots of, of word dies. It's got a lot of dies in it, maybe 20 dies, I think, possibly. So I was um, experimenting with this. And I found that when you use um, some high quality cardstock that's kind of thicker, that's kind of like, um, let's see, I used the uh, Vintage Collection and I used the, the Craft Core. It's really hard, it's kind of like the strip dies, it's really hard to get it to cut through. In fact, this was my one with one pass with my Vagabond, and as you see, the back of it just didn't cut out just kind of made an impression and so then what I did is I did some more experimenting and I did a pass through of three times uh, without taking it out and so three times is the charm two is not quite enough one isn't good at all but three times will work so then what I did is um, I pulled it out you know I separated them from the paper and you know um, Along with the uh, strip dies, you get a lot of, you have to do a lot of weeding. So I just took my pick, and this is a Tim Holtz pick, but any pick will work. And there are plenty of holes on the back that make this uh, an easy job. It can be tedious when you're doing a lot of them, but you can also uh, get a tray and sit in front of the TV and do this as well. So um, I wanted to use the block, the blocks with the dies. And so I cut out Jingle and Twinkle from uh, from my my papers from where I had uh, had cut them out, and I did my weeding. And then I took um, let's see, uh, uh, Wendy Becky's archival ink in in um, fern green, and I inked all around my edges and on my back and then I put it I put the word block in my Xyron X and came out pulled it out and that puts adhesive on the back and then I adhered it to my tag okay so I did that on on both okay and then with um, this one I used carnation red and on this one I used hydrangea but my I think my um, applicator was dirty with a darker color, like with the, the, oh, the gray one, the watering can. So it's a little darker than, than I really wanted. <clears throat> but, uh, so I inked up my edges and then I, I adhered my word blocks. So after that, what I did is, is fun. I took, um, a coffee filter. Let's see. I got, I got one here that's full of Mm 
Well, I had one here that already had some some glitter in it that will start a new one. Okay, so what I did then, and I'm going to use one of these uh, other blanks over here. Here's one. So what I did then is um, let's use let's use the hydrangea. Get my inking on here, and then I want to cover the back side. And just go around the edges here. Okay, so there are two ways that uh, you can do this. You can use just about any um, medium, but what I like to use is either the Glamour Dust crystal ice or ice crystal paint or the starlight varnish by DecoArt and these already have glitter in them and I'm just going to take a paintbrush and paint that right on my tag And then over this coffee filter, I'm going to take the Glamour Dust Fine Glitter and I'm just going to pour it on while it's still wet. And then I have lots of glitter in there. And that's the fine glitter. On the other side, let's use the Glamour Dust uh, paint this time so you can see that they're both uh, really pretty interchangeable. The Glamour Dust paint has more glitter in it than the starlight varnish so if you want more glitter use the the paint and then I can again use the um, the dry fine glitter or I can use some uh, the distress glitter this one is tumbled glass and I can pour it right over there. And then I can have a lot of glitter. I can basically have a coat of glitter on the back. So you can get a little or a lot. So this is how you make, um, you can make a lot of tags. So I've got these are these are that fast you know that's how fast it was um, and and they're pretty and you can on the back you can write your to and your from and have something that really adds to the attractiveness of your package and on this one I used the the little letters that I weeded out so you can use it you can use these either way so this is a nice die set to have nice to have the tags but if you don't have this you know you don't have to cut your own you can get them anywhere or you can um, get, get this or there's another one out with script words uh, and and make all kinds of tags there's you know, like 20 or 30 dies here it's got winter wishes jingle merry and bright twinkle Christmas seasons greetings Noel peace on earth wonderland and joy so and then you can mix and match those and you can cut them all out at once, and then you can can weed them all in front of the TV. You can even even take your Xyron, your little Xyron X, or you can take a, a glue pen and uh, put your adhesive on and sit make these sitting in front of the TV with uh, with your spouse and or your uh, or your friends or whatever you know whoever or by yourself and enjoy a nice evening of creating some tags. Um, the one thing to remember about this, though, is that you want to run it through your Vagabond at least three times if you're using uh, any type of substantial cardstock. Okay, if you're using real thin, cheap cardstock, then you may only have to go through twice, but I would recommend going through at least twice, um, a lot more than once. Sorry that I had to, to make this video t um, twice and that you didn't get to see me make these. But they're pretty self-explanatory. They're pretty easy. I know you can do it. And uh, 
I think you have fun with it. So, hope you all had a really nice Thanksgiving, and I will see you next week. All right, bye.